Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Wednesday morning, hoping all is well with you out there today. This is a bit of a controversial topic, I guess. I wanted to talk about a combination that I've tried recently, and I always want to make sure that I start off these episodes by saying I am in no way, shape, or form recommending that anyone do this. I'm not promoting this. This is simply for informational purposes only and for me to share my own experience. So I'm not telling anyone else to do this. With that said, today I wanted to talk about a combination of three different things. Kratom, Adrafinil, and Racetams. So these are very, very different things, and you might not have heard of them all before. Or maybe you're a bit familiar with some of these uh, through your own research. So I'm going to provide a bit of background on what these are before I jump into my experience with combining them, just so that everyone's on the same playing field. So let's get into it. First off, Adrafinil. Adrafinil is a really interesting thing. So like all interesting things, it was discovered by the French. (laughs) Um, There's a joke for the day. It was discovered by the French in 1974. A couple of scientists discovered this uh, somewhat accidentally, and they realized that Adrafinil can be used to basically help with wakefulness and to treat narcolepsy. And so they started marketing it eventually in France, uh, and it reached other countries as well, I believe, as a narcolepsy drug or something to keep you awake, wakeful. And um, Adrafinil, it turns out, it isn't like the main drug that's doing it. It's kind of like the precursor. The main drug is called modafinil, and Adrafinil is converted into modafinil once you take it. So uh, modafinil ended up being the, the main medicine. And modafinil, I believe it's still in some countries. I don't know if it's in the U.S. or not, but in those countries that it is legal in, I think you do need a doctor's prescription. However, Adrafinil, you do not. And you're you're able to buy Adrafinil, at least I know in the U.S. you're allowed to, um, usually from some sort of uh, website. And so technically, it's something that you don't need a prescription to purchase, at least in the U.S., Then moving into the other thing that I mentioned, nootropics or racetams. Um, Nootropics is the the it's the umbrella term. Racetams fall within this idea of nootropics. And nootropics, I believe they were discovered by the Russians. That well, the Soviets, the Soviet Russians, um, in the 60s or 70s, sometime around then. They were experimenting with different things that would help with cognitive boosting, basically things that make you think better (laughs) and improve neural connections, stuff like that. And so they came across this new type of drug. Um, It's also called, you know, smart drugs or cognitive enhancers, nootropics. And this is something that a lot of people in Silicon Valley use uh, right now. It's pretty hot out there in the West. and, And a lot of people who are running these tech companies are taking nootropics in the morning instead of drinking coffee. Uh, it doesn't necessarily keep you awake, nootropics. They, they are not necessarily stimulants, but what they do do is, you know, some of them do have stimulant-like properties, but a lot of them primarily function as a way to improve your neural connectivity in your brain. Um, they include memory, and there is a lot of, uh, you know, Uh, evidence of this and as as a side thing I don't know a lot of people might have seen a commercial for this drug that they market openly on TV called Prevagen and it's supposed to help with your memory and everything they're like Prevagen is derived from a jellyfish yeah that's a nootropic (laughs) The, the jellyfish is a nootropic so anyway that's an interesting thing to think about but that's that's besides the point so there's this class of nootropic called racetams r a c e t a m s racetams and racetams include a number of different types like paracetam oxiracetam phenylparacetam and anaracetam are all the ones that they list on Wikipedia. Those are kind of the main ones you'll come across if you're researching uh, racetams. And these are, again, they're nootropics, so they help boost cognitive uh, abilities or they help supposedly, all of this is not, there's not enough research on this, but from most reported, uh, you know, experiences and from the little research that does exist, it does seem that some of these have the ability to potentially improve brain function. 
Okay, so that's kind of like a base level, no detail, just kind of like my, you know, intro into both these things for those of you who haven't heard them. So, um, but, so that's where I'll stop, but I'll just, I'll say there's a lot more information than that. And again, if you're planning to be involved in using any of these things that I'm mentioning today, which I'm not saying you should, but if you do make sure to do your research, these are not things that have been researched enough and, um, you know, just be smart. So uh, with that in mind, now I'm going to get more into the personal side, which is my experience. And Kratom does come into the fold here. So my experience with Adrafinil, I've taken Adrafinil a couple times before. Adrafinil works very well with wakefulness, that is for sure. I The first time I tried Adrafinil, I took it one morning and I had discovered it through just hearing about it from a friend. And they said that this thing, you know, you basically don't need coffee or caffeine. And in fact, it actually doesn't work as well if you drink caffeine with it, they said. And I was like, well, that's exactly the sort of thing I'm interested in because I don't like caffeine. It doesn't really agree with me. So I tried it and it woke me up. My God, this stuff, it's like, it's, you know, it's like dropping you onto uh, one of those turbo boosts in a video game. If you're like driving down a track and you hit a turbo boost and you (laughs) <laughs> your speed increases threefold. I mean, it really does do that. Um, or at least it did for me my first time trying it. Uh, it lasts for a long time. A Adrafinil is not something you do if you need to be up for a few hours. A Adrafinil is something that will keep you awake for like 8 to 12 hours, okay? So this is not a short-term thing. This is a long acting drug. Uh, It also takes a while to kick in. It can be anywhere from 45 minutes to like 3 hours. I've had experiences where it took like an hour to kind of kick in. I've had experiences where it took two and a half hours to kick in and then it lasts for like eight to 10. So it's, it's really, it's a long ride. Um, and it, it, you know, the one downside I would say, uh, out of my own experience is at the end of the time where it's acting on you. So as it's coming down, as you're coming down off the effects of a drafanil, um, it can be bumpy. And by bumpy, I mean, you can be a bit anxious or jittery you can feel a lot of anxiety. You can also be frustrated easier. I found that I actually like had a little bit of a temper towards the end of the day when I tried it. So that's definitely a negative effect. Um, and, and there are other negative effects associated with it. And you must be very careful with a drafanil because it's a very strong substance. Moving on to my experience with racetams, I have a lot more experience with racetams. Um, I've tried paracetam, oxiracetam, phenylparacetam, aniracetam, all the main ones. Um, paracetam by far works the best in my opinion. Um, it's interesting because these are things that over the long term, uh, hypothetically are supposed to help, or theoretically rather, are supposed to help you build neural connections and increase your memory. I've never taken any of these racetams like every day and for months at a time Um, that seems a little scary to me without more research being done on them but from what my experience did show i did seem to have clearer days when taking paracetam for instance or phenylparacetam um it seemed as though a veil had been lifted off of my brain that you know things had been a little bit more foggy than they needed to be and these kind of helped um i found that taking the racetams two days in a row i saw a lot less of an effect the second day, which makes me think that it's very easy to build a tolerance to these. Um, I found that to be somewhat true with the Drafenil, but it's a very strong drug, so it was harder to notice, and uh, I, I haven't taken it as often. But with racetams, definitely the case. Um, negative effects. I haven't gotten too many negative effects from racetams other than if I, I've taken maybe a little bit too much one of the first times I tried these, and um, it was kind of like taking a little too much Kratom for me. The effects were very similar. My vision got a little bit wobbly, and um, I think that I think that it just, I felt unpleasant, you know, maybe even a little sick to my stomach. So it was very similar in terms of a little too much Kratom. Okay, so now that we have all that laid out, the basics of Adrafinil and Rastams and my experiences with them leading up to this experience, let's talk about Kratom. So I have taken Kratom with Adrafinil on its own, and I've taken Kratom with Rastams. I've never taken Kratom with Adrafinil and Rastams. So this was a very interesting experience. It was a first time experience um, and and I've really never had anything like it. So uh, let's jump in. What was it like for me? 
So yesterday, a little bit after I had done the episode about how my measurements of Kratom have been off this whole time <laughs> because my scale is too old. And so I had to get a new scale and I realized that, wow, my Kratom measurements have been off. After I did that episode a little ways later, um, I decided to do this combination. I had a lot of work to do yesterday and I have a lot to do this month. This is a very busy month for me for my work. So I have to not only be on top of it, but I have to do like more work than I feel like is possible. But it's one of those times where it's like at the end of the month, I will have done the work. It will have worked out fine, but it's just like it's going to be frantic. Like it's going to be a lot every day. So, um, you know, I'm facing a lot of deadlines on a lot of things. So I decided to really go for it. So I took my Kratom later on that morning. I took, um, I think it was, <laughs> with my new measurements, I know it was uh, two grams of green mangda and one gram of white Sumatran. And that's usually a pretty good combo for me in and of itself. And that's what I've done a few times the past week or two. But then I took a draphanil. I took a small amount of a draphanil. Usually people take like 300 milligrams of a draphanil as a starting dose. I took 150. So I took half of what uh, a lot of people will take as a starting dose of a draphanil. Um, that's something that's always important to me. If I'm trying something new, always cut the dose way lower than normal. Um, it's not worth it trying to do something that you think you can handle and seeing if you can. So I always start with something lower. So I did 150 milligrams of Adrafinil, and then I also did 100 milligrams of phenylparacetam. And that's a kind of average dose for phenylparacetam. So th that's what I did. And um, Kratom kicked in pretty quickly as always. Uh, within 20 minutes, I felt pretty much the full effects of Kratom. Um, within 45 minutes, I started to feel the effects of the adrafinil and the phenylparacetam. Now the effects feel somewhat different to Kratom coming up. Like I actually get a head fuzziness, warm feeling, kind of like how I get with Kratom with these two things. But phenylparacetam kind of acts in the background a bit. Like I just kind of feel a bit clearer. So there's not much of like a, oh wow, this is hitting me now sort of feeling with that one. Adrafinil is completely different. Adrafinil takes you for the ride okay like you're not driving a draphanil is driving every time so it's really an investment in the day where you're taking a draphanil you know that it's it's gonna do whatever it's gonna do and you have to be okay with how it's gonna do it um if that makes sense so a draphanil i started feeling 45 minutes in and it took another 45 minutes for me to feel the full effects. So an hour and a half for a draphanil to fully kick in. And what it felt like was kind of like, it kind of felt like as if I took a white variety of Kratom that was really strong, but as if the white variety of Kratom keeps on building in strength for 45 minutes. It, it really is a whole nother level of energy and focus and you know it's a it's a substance that is completely in and of itself it's not like anything else in my opinion um it was a huge burst of energy um it is definitely more of a burst of energy than anything i've ever felt on kratom and even though it was only 150 milligrams rather than the 300 starting dose that a lot of people consider for a drafinil, it was more than enough to take me over the, you know, over the line that I was hoping to get over in terms of energy and focus and for the duration of the day that I wanted it to last. It certainly did. It actually lasted longer than I needed it to. So I had trouble getting to sleep last night. And so, you know, if that gives you any idea of duration, I took it probably around 10 a.m. And at, you know, 11 p.m., I was in bed still trying to fall asleep. So it is a long thing, okay? Um, it worked incredibly well in tandem with the Kratom. I think that the one thing that I would do differently in the future if I were to do this again would be to take the Kratom after taking a Drafenil. And I think that I would do that because as a Drafenil is building, I do feel a bit of anxiety 
over the course of the 45 minutes or an hour, hour and a half that it's building. Once it gets the full on effects, I'm kind of used to how it's affecting me at that point. But you know, when taking something that's new or that you're relatively new to, it can be, you know, it can, it can induce some anxiety. And I definitely felt that. I'm also, you know, being pumped full of energy basically as this is happening. So I'm feeling this rising effect of energy and um, and and it's really holy in and of itself, like nothing else I've ever felt before. So I, I am gaining all this energy and I realized that it would have been helpful to take the Kratom at that point in time because that would have helped with this anxiety and it would have helped me, I think, kind of relax and just let the adrafinil work as it's going to work. And I, since I'm familiar with it enough, I knew how it was going to feel. But, you know, in retrospect, I think Kratom might have been better taken maybe an hour after taking adrafinil. So that's something that that I would take away from my experience personally. Um, the phenylparacetam definitely worked in the background and definitely was worth having in there. I think that it helped clear up the energy and helped focus it that I was getting from the adrafinil. And, um, and that's important because if you have a lot of energy, uh, and I'll just speak for myself, if I have a lot of energy and I'm ready to focus, but I, but I can't channel it, that can be a problem because then you can just kind of be like hopping from one thing to another, or you just feel like you need to be doing something or running around or, you know, you need to have control over your own body. And, and that's what I need personally. And so like, I, um, I, I was glad that the phenylparacetam was part of this combination because it helped me have a clear, clear focused, uh, funnel, if you will for the adrafinil and the energy that came out of the adrafinil. And as it started to affect me that I immediately sat down, got to work. And this, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, I sat down, I started working and it was like four hours later and I hadn't looked up yet. So it, I think the closest thing I could think of to, to what this is sort of like for me would be kind of like Adderall, which I have taken in the past a few times. Um, and this was during college. I have taken an Adderall a couple times before, and this was kind of similar to that, I think. Not the same, but it was similar. So overall, the experience lasted a very long time. It went very well. I feel like I should have taken Kratom later on in the experience rather than before, and I think that maybe I could have even taken a little less Kratom. It wasn't that the Kratom was too overpowering, but it's just that after a certain point, if I have too many different things happening in my body at once, it just doesn't feel good, you know? And um, I like to have a very clear sense of what's doing what and to be able to feel each, you know, thing interacting with each other so that I feel confident in my choice of, of taking these things together. So I think that my takeaways would be that the, the day went really well overall, that I had a very clear focused uh you know, sense of, of motivation and energy. And, um, it was very, very strong. So I wouldn't take any more than I did of any of these things. Um, and I think that maybe I should have eaten a little bit more beforehand because the other thing that happens is a draft often makes it so that you aren't very hungry. So I wish that I had eaten a bit more beforehand, but um, but other than that, um, just staying hydrated was very important too. So I drank lots of water and uh, I made sure to try and give myself a break midday and just like walk outside because it was nice out and, and just let myself breathe for a bit because it's also not good to just like stare at a piece of paper or stare at a computer for four hours without being able to get up and take a breather. It's important. So it was a great experience. It's a very powerful experience. Again, I must state, I'm not recommending anyone do this, but I thought it would be interesting uh, for people to hear how this combination worked for me. And I think that the Kratom was essential. I think the Kratom was essential to this experience. I think that even though I wish that I had taken the Kratom later than I had, it still played a huge role in lessening the amount of anxiety that one might get from a huge amount of energy in a short amount of time and then for that amount of energy lasting for a long time. 
So the, the Kratom played an essential role in keeping me grounded, uh, keeping me level-headed, and making me feel like I have control over my own body. You know, like I was able to sit there and be like, my heart isn't pumping, you know, crazy amounts. You know, that's always something I'm always afraid of. Like, oh no, is my heart going to feel like it's bursting out of my chest? I think the Kratom helped me not feel that way at all. So um, maybe another thing I would do in the future is just keep it to the greens. I don't think I needed white Sumatra and I think I could have just done green mang da and maybe just stay at the two grams of green mang da taking that an hour into the experience and I think that would have it you know basically be a picturesque experience in my opinion so that would be my review of this combination of adrafenil phenylparacetam and kratom and I hope that you find it interesting. Uh, please, you know, feel free to reach out if you have any more questions about any of these things. I'm happy to share my own experience or information with you. But again, I'm not recommending anyone try this. These are all very uh, strong chemicals or substances, and each one should be very much respected. And if anyone is going to take any of them, do your research. Please do your research and do not overdo any of them. So that's all I have to say about that. Hope you found this one interesting. If you like this sort of thing, I can certainly share more of my experiences with Kratom in combination with other things. Uh, and as long as people know, I'm never recommending that you do it yourself. Okay, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday. We will be back tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.